What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing you guys yet another Quack Quaval team, but this time featuring Speed Boost as Pathra. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'm telling you guys take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button and join the genius community it really goes a long way we are pushing 20,000 subscribers which absolutely blows my mind seriously huge shout out to everybody who has been supporting me but this team right here was actually used by somebody who used it in i think a swiss tournament something like that not too sure but i will be leaving a link down in the description below to his social media pages and to the pokey pace for this team so if you guys want to go check him out go check him out he plays this team phenomenally and he can showcase it to its fullest potential but uh we got Pelper right here in the top left corner to get started here with today's team preview. My boy Paloops with Drizzle and Damp Rock as its item and ability. It's got Hydro Pump as its first move, and then it's Rock and Hurricane, Tailwind, and Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Salamence. Salamence, absolutely ridiculously strong. You guys already know about that. It's Intimidate alongside with the Life Orb as its item. It's got Draco Meter, Hurricane, Tailwind, and Protect. Gonna be a really good Pokemon paired up with Pelipper because it allows its Hurricane to land 100% of the time in the rain. So getting Salamence out there with a Life Orb and the Flying type on top of that, it's gonna be able to do some crazy damage. Third Pokemon is going to be Magnezone. And not just any Magnezone, we got Choice Spec Magnezone. It's got Analytic as its ability, then it's Rock and Thunder, Flash Cannon, Volt Switch, and Terra Blast. Amazing Pokemon, especially paired up with Pelipper. Its Thunder is gonna be hitting 100% of the time. Espathor is going to be our fourth Pokemon. Speed Boost as its ability. Really good ability because at the end of every single turn, it gets a plus one speed boost. Absolutely amazing. Love that ability. Then it's rocking to Focus Hatch as its item. It's got Lumina Crash for Stab, Dazzling Gleam for Fairy and Coverage, and plus it can be Stab if we Terra into our Fairy Terra type. Then we got Substitute to set up a sub and protect for our final move. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Quackleball over here. Moxie Quackleball, I should say, considering this Pokemon is absolutely broken once you get him set up. It's got Assault Vest, it's got the Moxie ability like we already mentioned, then it's rocking Wave Crash, Close Combat, Brave Bird, and Aqua Jet for first turn priority. Final Pokemon is going to be our support Pokemon. It is going to be Amoongus. And this Amoongus is a little bit different, considering it is rocking Leaf Storm. So we can throw off our opponents by doing some big damage with Leaf Storm. Crazy base, I think 120 move, plus stab on top of that. It can hit hard. It can hit hard. So hopefully we can catch some opponents off guard and hit and get pick up some KOs with some Amoongus. Regenerator adds its ability, Citrus Berry, and then, then the other three moves are pretty straight up, pretty normal. Palm Puff, Spore, Rage Powder. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Quackle Ball and S Path team. First match coming at you guys. Let's get started here with a big fat dub. We're going up against a pretty strong team full of meta Pokemon. They got Miascarada, they got the uh, Murkrow. Golden Go, Hydreigon, Gargle Neck, and last but not least, King Gambit. King Gambit is so strong. I love that Pokemon so much. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead? I could Intimidate right off the rip. I could definitely Intimidate, but Defiant could be a problem with King Gambit, so I really don't want to go that path. I could go Pelper. I do kind of want to set up a Talon, which could be good. So I think Pelper is going to be a good call. So I'm going to rock out Pelper here. I am going to go into maybe Magnet Zone here. I can always Volt Switch out if need be. And then try to get Quack Ball and S Panther as the other Pokemon. It does sound pretty good. You know, what? I am going to do that. Let's do it. Let's go as Pathra and Quack Hoval. I'm loving it. If we have a chance just to drop a big time Thunder and KO Pokemon, I'm all about it. But if not, I'm just Volt Switch out and save Mag Zone for later. I'm all, I'm all with it. I'm all with it. So let's see your opponent leads and let's see if we can grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But series two is right around the corner. It's about six days, five, six days away from the time this video uploads. If you guys got series two teams let me get them let me get them throw them over to me on my twitter dms or leave them in the comment section down below if you have a better chance of me seeing them over on my twitter but if you guys do not have twitter again leave them down in the comment section down below love to showcase every single future and past form pokemon on the rank ladder but our opponent's gonna end up leading the gambi the gambi's gonna come out here alongside me Auscarada. okay I mean, that's not too bad i feel like this do we fit up a tailwind I feel like we do set up a Talon. We're going to set up a Talon here. And I think we just stay in here and pop these Thunders, right? We do have Terra Blast, which changes the flying. But I really don't want to change the flying. I'd say we just start ripping with Thunders. I'm going to start getting after this Gambit. I'm with it. So Knockoff's going to come out here. It's going to change the straight Dark type. That's fine. You were going to take off my... What item? My Choice Spec. So I don't have my Choice anymore. That's kind of good. I mean, I guess. Maybe. So I can Volt Switch out later, but Tailwind's going to get set up from my lovely little Paloops, and Thunder's going to drop. 
I'm all about it. Look at that damage. Big time damage. And the para? No para. Hurt soul. But we have speed on the board, which is absolutely amazing. So, so speed is ripping from us. Uh, Hydro Pump will do more than Hurricane right now. But do I want to rely on the accuracy? I kind of do. So you know what? I'm going to go into it. We're going to accuracy and... Can Volt Switch KO? I don't think Volt Switch can KO. I don't even want to risk it. So you know what? I'm just going to pop another Thunder into the Gambit slot. But the scary part is I can see double Sucker Punch coming out here. I guess not. He's going to protect the Gambo. Are you protecting Miascarada? You are not. So Miascarada is probably going to go down to Focus Sash or just die here, right? Sash up. So Sash up is coming out from Miascarada. Probably going to KO one of my Pokemon, which I don't mind. I kind of like these starting turns. It's fine. That is totally fine. That is totally fine. So Protect comes out here from the Gambit. And we're just straight dropping Thunders into that. Now, does he have any Pokemon to swap into it and dodge a Thunder? That's a real question. But from here, I feel like Quack Walsh is to play. Aqua Jet through. Pick up Moxie Boost. Yeah, I'm with it. Pick up Moxie Boost all day. And then we have the range just to straight Aqua Jet or even Wave Crash through. Really solid turns from us. So, yeah. Aqua Jet coming in hot. Let's get it. And I just got to see. Does he have anybody to swap into? No, Thunder really does pretty solid on all these Pokemon. So, I feel like it's a free Thunder. Plus, it's not going to miss. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Especially with this Aqua Jet coming in here. If I get this Aqua Jet KO, we could be thriving. We could be thriving. Because that gives me that plus one Moxie boost. We're in the rain. We pretty much outspeed everybody already because of Tailwind. Let me just go from there. Let's see what our opponent wants to do. Kind of in a weird position. Sitting here like, okay, what do I do? We got Quackleball dancing up here. He does end up with Joel and the Gambit. That's fine. And Golden Go is going to come out here. I, I actually really like this Thunder going into Golden Go because Golden Go is just a problem. Aqua Jet comes in here. There's a big time KO. We take him out. We get a plus one attack boost that is huge. That is lovely. And I think we both still have Terra, right? Yeah, none of us Terrasalize just yet. Moxie Boost comes out here. Thunder's dropping. Big time damage. So bad swap for our opponent. And we get the Paralyze. So I can freely Aqua Jet into that slot if I want to. Magnezone is just going to stay out here. It's free Thunders in the rain. It is free thunders, and if this thing moves last, it gets more damage. But since Tailwind's up, it's not moving last. But still, Thunder does a ridiculous amount of damage. Add the stab boost on top of that. It is wild. He's gonna throw back out Gambo. Gambo is back out here. This game is a wrap. This game is a wrap. I could terrasize, but there's no need for me. I'm just gonna straight up Aqua Jet, take up the Golden Go, pick up another boost, and I'm just gonna thunder again into the Gambo. King Gambit protects. I think we might see a double protect here. It's fine. If not. Quack will ball come out here. Yeah, so Double Protect comes out here. It's fine. It's wraps. It's wraps. It's wraps. I don't even think we need Tailwind. I don't even think we need Tailwind. But I want to see Magnezone's speed real quick. I really do. I want to see how fast it's going to be because I think Tailwind ends right here right now. I'm not worried about Quack will ball speed. I'm more so worried about the Magnezone. So we're going to give it a quick peek. We are going to give it a quick peek. 85. I'm not too sure. I think Golden Go might be a little bit faster. Not sure about Gambit. But uh, if you guys want to see a little bit of EVs right here, we got we got my boy Magnusons right there. We got Clackle Balls. We got these guys right here. Espathra and Pelipper. So I know some, sometimes you guys like for me to showcase it when I get a chance. But I should have the Poke Pace down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. But from here, I'm just going to go for straight Aqua Jet. And is Rain still going? Yeah, we have Damp Rock. So a bunch of turns. And I'm just going to keep throwing Thunders. Give me no reason not to. So he ends up with Draw on the Golden Go. Totally fine. You gotta go. Oh, big mistake. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Aqua Jet ripping. Aqua Jet ripping. Thunder, we outspeed the Gambo. We say later, Gambit. And it's game, set, match. GG. GG in a can. Magnus and Quackle Ball just doing work right now. They're doing work. They are indeed doing work. So, Gargle Knuckle could protect could ter terrestrialize but it's over with it's over with because a i'm just going to go into an aqua jet just to finish off golden go and b flash cannon should be able to take out gargoyle aqua we're not even going to use our terrestrialization i mean he might terrestrialize but we'll see we'll see it's gg so got my boy magnuson out here better steel type and then i got my quack of all my ducky wucky right here getting after it <laughs> Imagine getting beat up by a Quackle Ball and this, this dude's just toe-tap dancing in front of you. Beating you up while toe-tapping. But opponent cancels battle. Solid way to get things started here. We're sitting 1-0.
Second match coming at you guys, and look at this team we're going up against. I just want this rental code. It looks absolutely amazing. Scizor, Titar, Arcanine, Espeon, Vaporeon, and Dragonite. All Pokemon that I feel like everybody loves. So that team is looking fire. Cannot wait to go up against it. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I definitely want to get Espeon out here in match number two. So I might end up bleeding that Pokemon. Trying to set up a sub, maybe? Could potentially work, but I feel like Intimidate could really work strong on us. Right? Actually, is Espeon physical attacking? Is, is this thing physical? Let's give a quick peek. No, it's all special. So Intimidate will not affect us from that Arcanine. Espeon, come on down. I might actually lead the Pelipper instead because, again, Intimidate's going to be a problem. Plus, we can get Weather, but more so, I feel like Pelipper should be a back-end Pokemon. But, you know, I'm going to go Salamence because it is special attacking as well. And I can throw Intimidate on a few physical attackers. So I'm going to go Espeon. I'm going to go Salamence. I'm going to try to maybe set up a Tailwind depending on what Pokemon they have. And then I'm going to go in with Quacko Ball. And last but not least, do I go with Moogus or Pelper? Pelper is going to be nice for the weather control. We have water moves to take out the T-Tar and the Arcanine. We have air moves to take out nothing really. But a Moogus could get rid of the Vaporeon. Which I really, really like. But you know what? Pelper is probably going to be cool. We go Pelper? Yeah, we're going to go Pelper. Considering they also have weather on top of that. I need a Pokemon to counter weather. I got the Damp Rock Paloops. My boy Paloops. Is a, he's a dog. He's a dog. Funny story, like back before I even like ever played competitive, and I only really started in the Sword and Shield era, I didn't really like Pelper. I didn't like him. I was like, oh, he's stupid, design's lame. Especially when I was younger, I was just like, why would I ever pick up this Pokemon? Now Pelper is one of my favorite Pokemon. He's just a, he's just a dog. He is just an absolute D-A-W-G dog. Dog, dude. He's just so good. He's so good on the rank ladder. I love its design nowadays. I guess I just had to grow into it you know <laughs> but he goes arcanine alongside with skizzy skizzy uh subs could get set up here for me um bug type is looking a little scary i could protect and just take a straight speed boost what does the jeans probably want to do here as pathra hmm i'm just gonna protect here and and see how we go from there i could set up a tailwind do I really need Tailwind? Let me see your speed real quick. I know we have like 10 seconds left. There's 10. You're 160. Okay, the speed's fine. I don't really think we need it for the rest of the squad. Let's just Draco Meteor and swap. I think I'm going to Draco Meteor regardless. I didn't even click my turn in, but I think since it's our top move, we Draco Meteor somebody. And we're hoping it's actually in the Scissor. If he's Terrasalizing in a straight fire, yeah, I would, I would absolutely love to. So he's probably thinking we have Flamethrower on our Salamence, which a lot of them do rock. And we're hoping that the uh, what's called comes out here. We're just hoping that the Trick of Meteor goes to Scizor. No, it goes into Arcanine, which is totally fine. That's where I was going to go with it. I might pick up some really solid damage. The special attack is going to drop. I might swap my Salamence into Pelipper at this point. And Arcanine is just going to go for a Snarl. And that's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. Because I'm swapping Salamence regardless. My special attack is already in the trash. And he's going to go for a Pounce. So he's pouncing into my Espeon. That's totally fine. Big time protect from us. I feel like from here we can just Gleam if we want to. We have Speed Boost. Gleam should be able to take out Arcanine. Actually, I don't know. We could go Lumina Crash. Hmm. He could lower the Special Defense. Who do I want to go after here? I think another Draco Meter could take out Arcanine. And then we swap it, right? Makes the most sense. I think another Draco Meteor could take out Arcanine, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Lumina Crash coming in here. Bilp. Solid damage. Can we get special attack drop? We do. We get the harshly drop special attack. Draco Meteor's gonna fly. Don't, don't tell me we missed it. Oh, do that to me. Don't you do that to me. He's gonna end up Will O Wisp with me. That's all good. I'm special attacking. Are you kidding me? We missed that Meteor? We really missed that Meteor? And Pounce is coming out here. That KOs me. Ooh, no. Well, well we're dead. We had Focus Ash, but. The burn's going to take us out. That is ridiculous. First of all, Arcanine should be dead. I shouldn't be burned. I should have another turn with my Espathra. Ridiculous. I, don't, I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. But at this rate, I can bring out Quackleball. I could swap Salamence if I want to. Who do I go after, though? It's a real question. I think I have to go after Arcanine at this point. I think I have to go after Arcanine. Pick up this Moxie boost. And then just swap get the rain in here as well because if anyone's gonna protect i feel like it's gotta be skizzy right we see scissor as a big threat and we're hoping scissor protects and on top of that arcanine could burn me and i'm not about it 
so I'd rather get rid of him. So we're gonna swap in the Pelipper. Not just for weather purposes, but to get my Salamence back on the attack board. Aqua Jet's gonna fly here. I'm gonna say bye bye to you. And what are you going for, Skizzy Skiz? Don't go after my Quackle Ball. Go after my Pelipper. He's probably going after my Quackle Ball. Trailblaze. Oh, wow. Rocking Trailblaze. He's gonna pick up a speed boost. Um, I'm fine with that because I can just straight up Aqua Jet that. And I could set up a tail in here. Or I could just straight up Hydro Pump into that, which I'm really thinking of doing. I'm really thinking of just Hydro Pump because I know we should be able to outspeed it. Could Terrasalize into straight water. But I really don't want to do that. I might just want to Aqua Jet because that thing's bullet punching. This is tough. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to Aqua Jet it just in case that thing wants to bullet punch. And at this point, do we Tailwind set up? I think our speed's fine. I think I think we just get after this uh, Vaporeon here. Yeah, perfect. Aqua Jet comes in here. We're going to take out the Scissor. We're sitting plus two now. Quackle Ball getting some work done today. Quackle Ball getting some work done. Good thing I did swap into an Aqua Jet. Good thing I did. Because I was going to close combat the Vaporeon and Hydro Pump down the Scissor. But I think this worked out perfectly. So Hurricane comes out here. Chipping up some damage. Ducks. We get the Ducks. We love it when we get the Ducks. So Vaporeon's all ducked up right now. Get it, get it, get it. You guys got it. Vaporeon hits itself in confusion. Awesome, awesome. I like how they lowered the damage of hitting yourself in confusion. I think that's a really good thing. Considering, like, you're already losing a turn. Hitting yourself in confusion is even worse, you know? Like, just losing a turn is 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 the big threat. So T-Tar is going to come in here. Probably Terrasalize, right? He's probably the Terrasalize guy. I kind of just want to close combat and take out Vaporeon. That's got to be my, my biggest call. And then from here, if this thing's going to Terrasalize, right? I really do think it's going to Terrasalize. I think we just go after it. And again, I do think it Terrasalize. So I'm going to pop a Hurricane into it. It does not Terrasalize, but close combat finishes off Vaporeon. Wow, I could just dumped on T-Tar. I could just dumped on T-Tar. But again, I really did think it was going to Terrasalize. Potentially in the flying typing, but lovely we got rid of the Vaporeon. <clears throat> Moxie boost is out and about now. So if you don't take out my Quackle Ball, it's GG's. If you do not take out my Quackle Ball, it is game set match. Give him the ducks. No ducks. Rockside coming in here. Okay. Quackle Ball eats. Oh my god, it is over. G to the cheese. Now the real question is, I gotta just pop a wave crash, right? There's no need to go into a combat because if he terrasalizes into flying, yeah, you know, yeah, we're just gonna rip in with water moves. It is GG. Titar ends up protecting, trying to chip up with some sand stream damage. I'm wave crashing. I think even if you go into any other terror besides like. Grass, which I doubt your terror type grass. You're dead. I'm plus three Quackle Wall. I'm ripping. Quackle Wall's playing no games right now. No games. I am gonna take this buff of damage, and I think the only way our opponent has a shot is if he double protects here, right? If double protect does come out here. I could wide guard the shot, but I'm just attacking here. Yep, wave crash comes out here. Later, T Tar. Get it on out my game. Get it on out, my game. Quackle Wall is just ripping through opponents at this point. Let's hop into a third and final battle and try to get you guys a perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. We are just dominating the rank ladder today. Absolutely killing it. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. Like I always say in the beginning of the video, leave a like on the video. It really does go a long way. You guys have no idea. So if you guys are just watching for free, just scroll down a little bit. Click that big red subscribe button. Especially if you made it this far in the video, you guys are obviously enjoying the content. But we're going up against Amy Alscarada and... Hydreigon team with Torkoal, but no Pokemon to set Trick Room. Actually, Meowskarada can set the Trick Room, so I don't know if he's going to bring Torkoal. I really don't think he does, but he also has Aqua Breed, Taurus, and Mousehold. Okay, okay. I definitely want to get Espather out here. Um, who else do I want to use? I kind of want to try to get some Moongus to pick up a KO on somebody. So we're going to bring a Moongus. We're going to bring Espather, but do I lead Espather? I think Espather is a solid lead alongside with maybe like Pelper or Salamence. I think we just go straight up Paloops. Paloops is a dog. Paloops is a dog. We're going to get Pelper for two reasons and two reasons only here. A, in case he leads Torkoal, we can have Rain ready to go. And two, we can set up Tailwind and kind of get rolling from there. But I'm going to go Pelper. I'm going to go Espather. I'm going to go Quackle Wall, considering Quackle Wall is amazing. And we're getting out a Moongi Moongus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's rip into this one. Let's grab ourselves a win here and a perfect record. Hopefully, we can grab it. 
Hopefully we can grab it. And it would be awesome if Amoongus can pick up the final KO with the Leaf Storm. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty awesome. That'd be pretty awesome. That'd be pretty dope. But let's see where our opponent ends up leading. Hopefully it's something I can just get after. Look at my boy Paloops on the field. Let's see. Mouse holding Hydra. I can deal with that. And we got Paloops and Espathra. Which is not bad, not bad at all. I am a little worried about the, uh... I am 100% worried about pop bombs coming out of here. Because pop bombs are terrifying. I might Terra here, too. I might Terrasalize because Dark Pulse looking real scary. And you know what? I am going to Terrasalize and I'm just going to pop a Gleam. I'm going to Gleam. And do I go for a Hurricane or a Pump? Pump's going to do a little bit more damage, but Hurricane's guaranteed hit. I'm going to go for Hurricane. I, again, I want to get rid of this Mouse Hold. I'm worried about the Pop Bombs coming in here. So I'm going to Terrasalize my Espatha right off the rip. Right off the rip. Espatha coming in here. Let's get after it. Change the straight into Fairy type for two reasons. One is because if it stay, if Hydreigon stays that type, we're going to be able to rip into it. And two, it uh, keeps us from being dark. But Pop Bomb comes out here. That sucks, man. Can you eat this up, Pelper? You look like you might have a chance. Oh, of course he gets a crit. Ruin, ruins my whole thing. I think that hit 10 times, didn't it? I think that hit 10 on the dot. That hit 10, it hit 10 on the dot. I think that crit kind of screwed me a little bit. Gleam's gonna fly, though. I like the damage that we're gonna be able to get off with Gleam here, because I think I just bring a Quackle Ball after this. Oh, baby. Hydrogon going! Big time turn from us. Big time turn from us. Hydrogon, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Dump it on Hydrogon. Now we just bring out straight up Quackle Ball. Quackle Ball's here to play. Yeah, Quackle Ball. And he's gonna bring out a Moongi Moongus. And I'm just gonna Brave Bird into that. Gleam Brave Bird? Mm. Do I want to clean Brave Bird? Real question. It is a real question. I mean, what's going to do more damage? They're both going to do the same amount of damage. We know Brave Bird KOs and Moogus all day. I said we go Lumina Crash and we Wave Crash this, this Mouse Hold. Actually, who's faster? That Mouse Hold cooked. Because he was faster than Espathra. Oh, yeah. No, we, we might have to Aqua Jet this down. This is tough. We have to Aqua Jet this. I think we just take the sleep here. I think we gleam and we take the sleep. I feel like a Spore's gotta come out here. And we have to get rid of this Mouse Hold. So going into Aqua Jet allows us to get rid of the Mouse Hold, which is huge. So we get rid of the Mouse Hold. Amoongus is probably gonna put one of us to sleep. But I had to get rid of that Mouse Hold because if not, he was Pop Bomb in one of my Pokemon. And I was dead. It was just no bueno. So he's probably sporing one of my guys. Yeah, he's going to end up sporing my Quackle Ball, which I don't mind. I can Lumina Crash and get rid of the Moogus next turn. Cool, cool, cool. Our opponent still does have Terra, which is fine. But again, I had to get rid of that Mouse Hold. I had to get rid of it. It's going to be me, Alcarada. So obviously I could Gleam, but he's going to Thrash Slide. He's going to change up his typing. And I feel like just getting rid of this Pokemon right here. Dump it on a Moogus, getting rid of that thing. Seems like a good play. And then probably just going for a close combat here. But I'm going to be asleep this turn anyway. So Meowth's going to protect. That's totally fine. So he's looking to spore me. But my S Panther's showcasing in this third and final battle. Lumina Crash coming in here. So close. So close. And we get the crit. But no KO. We get the special defense drop. Harshly drop. And Quackle Ball is going to be asleep. So he wants to spore me. That's the problem. He wants to spore me. And he's going to be that guy. He's going to be like, hey, yo. Both you guys asleep. Fine. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. And now he's sitting here with me, Alskarada. I mean, Ascarada is here. I do have the speed boost pop pumping out here. Um, and from here, we still have an Amoongus of our own. The Storm Amoongus might be able to come in here and clutch it up. We'll see. We shall see. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. But, uh, Gleam's obviously going to be our play if we can land it. And do we burn or close combat? Let's have a close combat. Close combat's going to be able to do some big time damage. There's the terrestrialization from our opponent. Let's see what it is. Is it grass? Is it dark? It's grass. It's a bird. Should have been our play, but still, we're asleep anyway. We'll see how this one plays out. He takes out my... He's definitely taking out my Quackle Ball. No problem. I probably should have Aqua Jet just in case we could have gotten a turn to wake up. We'll see. Flower Trick's going to fly here. Bye-bye to Quacks. Yeah. Quackle Ball. Love you, dude. I'll catch you later. 
I'll catch you when we win this battle. I got you. This battle's for you. We're doing it for Quack Fall. <laughs> for Quack <Quack-a-fall>. Fall! <laughs> Glitch Smile comes out here. Takes off my speed boost. You son of a biscuit. Don't worry. I got another one cooking. I got another one cooking. My, my lovely boy Amoongus coming out and about. Let's get this battle cooking. Let's get it cooking. Let's go, Amoongus. Your time to shine. So Gleam's gonna come out here. And the reason I want to Gleam is because Gleam will take out Amoongus and deal some damage to Meowth Then you know what? We're going straight for the Pollen Puff. Amoongus looking for the win. As Panther's still asleep. Okay. It's fine. We can deal with it. Flower Trick's going to KO us. I don't think we could do this for Quack Quaval. We're gonna try to. This one's tough. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one. We get off a of Pomp Up. Clear Smile coming in hot on me. They're able to soak pretty well. Pomp Up should be able to chunk up some nice damage here. Amoongus. Amoongus! Come on, baby. Okay, so I f feel like. What, what should we do here? I feel like we have to just keep targeting down Miascarada because Amoongus isn't gonna do too much to us. He rage powers. That's fine because we can take out Amoongus here. How much damage is Miascarada going to do here? That's the real question. We can definitely eat up another Sucker Punch. And we're not affected by Rage Powder. Oh, yeah. GG. GG. We are not affected by Rage Powder. We're grass type. Amoongus. Amoongus. Yo, and like I said, guys. What did I say? Did I say this in the beginning of the video? I want to clutch up a battle and get some kills with Amoongus with Leaf Storm. And what a perfect way to finish off this video. Do not cancel. Let me hit you with this Leaf Storm. Let me hit you with this leaf storm. Awesome. Dope. Clear smile coming out here. All stat changes were eliminated. I still have a berry. Oh, yeah. You guys are witnessing the most clutch Amoongus on planet Earth. Leaf storm KO win. I said it in the beginning of the third and final battle. Said so hopefully we can end this battle with a leaf storm KO. And that's exactly what we did. 3 0. Amazing team right here. Grab yourselves a perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0 for today's video. You guys gotta love it. Absolutely dominated the rank ladder today, and I'm pretty sure we got to use every single Pokemon. Magnezone was in there a little bit, dropping Thunders big time. Paloops, always a dog, getting some work done. Salamence was in there a little bit, dropping some Draco Meteors left and right. And then we got Espathra and Quackleball doing work in battle number three, even though Quackleball was MVP. Pretty much did work in every single battle. And then my boy Amoongus, with that Leaf Storm, we got him out there. We were able to pick up a big time KO and grab ourselves that perfect record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots. Every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.